Hello. <laughs> I don't know how much you can actually see of me. Today, it's all about seeds. Now, I am obviously a big fan of seed saving, and today I'm going to show you how to save your courgette or zucchini, as we say here, seeds. So you'll need a spoon and a nice sharp knife. And now, before I introduce our next guest, obviously when you grow uh, courgettes or zucchinis, you will have a small, nicer, edible one, like something like this, a little bit bigger even. When they get bigger than that, they're commonly referred to as marrows. So this is a marrow. So when your zucchini grows up, that's what he turns into, or she. All right, now we're gonna harvest these seeds. So first thing you need to do, section it off, cut off the ends. You can, if it's big like this, you can be pretty harsh. You won't get much as far as the ends go. Take them off. And I'll cut this into thirds. Like so. Yeah, they're not too bad. All right, now I'll use this middle part. Now all I'm gonna do, from the centre, straight to the outside, straight down, straight down, straight down. All right, so we've cut it into thirds. Now, all you need to do, this is where your spoon comes in handy, scoop it out. And there's your seed. Sorry, there goes an annoying trail bike. All right, so once you've scooped that out, now you can theoretically eat this. Obviously, I'm not going to. I'll put it in with the dirt. So the chickens will get all this. They'll love it. So it's quite easy separated from here. Now, this is good for things like um, zucchini slice and stuff like that. It's a bit bland, so it's good as a bulker rather than just a vegetable on its own at this point. Now, see, so all you do from there is pick out the seeds. Just like so. And there's your courgette or zucchini seed. Now all you need to do with this, um, what I generally do with mine is put them on a piece of paper, like a piece of paper toweling works quite well. Um, put them at separate apart. All right, hang on, let me example this a bit better. So say for example, I've got my piece of um, towel just like this. All right, say so it's here. Now what I do with the seeds, I'll place them down at intervals on the piece of paper, say like so, say three, and do different rows. So you might get 12, say on this piece of paper. Let it dry out, out of direct sunlight. Now I actually had a um, article published recently in Grassroots Magazine, it was about drying things, etc. And there was a typo in it in regards, or in regards to drying herbs, uh, but it did mention that the herb should be put in direct sunlight to dry, uh, which I was mortified at when I saw it because it's a typo. They should be left out of direct sunlight. They're a nice, dry, airy place. So you can do this, just like so. Put it somewhere and just let it dry out, just on its own, like on a bookshelf or you know somewhere out of direct sunlight. That'll dry out, and when the moisture's gone, you can fold this whole thing up or roll it up. Put it in. A, what I do is I put it in an envelope, then I just put it aside for my other seeds. Next year, when I'm going to plant um, zucchinis again, I just unfold the piece of paper, which pretty much stays intact because it hasn't had any moisture contact. Plant it into the ground, say 20 mil, 25 mil depth, and you'll find that the seeds will just come up nicely, evenly spaced. So that works out brilliantly. So that's pretty much how to save seeds. If you don't want to use the paper towel um, theory, <laughs> Um, what you can do is just put the individual seeds. I, if you've got a plastic tray or a um, plastic uh, cutting board, that works brilliantly because they tend not to stick to it because there's no kind of uh, adhesive stick process going on. And then once they've dried out, they generally just flick off and then you can just put them in a jar or whatever. 
keep them until next year. It's the moisture that kills them. It creates mould and they go off. So that's the main thing. Make sure they are properly dried out, okay? But not direct sunlight like we're in today. Just somewhere nice and airy inside and just leave them for a while and then just check them. So that's how to save seeds. All right. Uh, any questions, give me a yell. I hope this helps. Um, cool. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.